Hey everyone, Carrie Beck here with FamilyEbiz.com, where we help families start and scale businesses and gain freedom in their lives. Because an online business can give you freedom. Hey, I am excited about today. This is some. This is a topic of a strategy that I have personally been using for 16 years, I think, maybe even more. And we're in the middle of a series, Work Smarter, Not Harder. Last time we talked about um, charging what you're worth. And the time before that, we talked about getting paid more. And so we're all about providing our audience with good quality work, good quality courses that will help them um, be able to charge more. And there are real strategies to do that. Today, we are moving into a topic that I love. It's called webinars, all right? Webinars that sell. And we want to tease, this is a great lead magnet. It is an event. I believe events drive sales. And that is why I love webinars. We've been talking about this and using this since, yeah, 2008. The one thing I think uh, for me, I don't always call it a webinar with my audience. I call it a master class because it just has sort of a better flavor than a webinar, although that's really what it is. So we're going to talk about how in the world do you um, give, a, uh, give a webinar. Before we dive into it, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. And it would mean the world to me if you would share this with just one of your friends that is working on an online business. That would be awesome. I think webinars can change your business and your friend's business as well. Now, I know some of you are probably going, no way. I am not putting my face on a video. Well, guess what? Webinars allow you to not necessarily have your face. Although I do think video is good. Video allows your people to see your facial expressions, to hear your tone of voice, just like you can see me and hear me and you sort of get to know me because you can't actually see me. But you know what? If you don't want to do that, you can do a webinar that is purely a PowerPoint presentation. I still think you should include some pictures in there of you and maybe your family, but it's super easy or I shouldn't say super, it does take some time, but a webinar is a great way to be able to do it if you're a little bit afraid and you're not ready to put yourself out there on video. So we've sort of taken that problem out. Now, why in the world do you need a webinar? There are several reasons. I've already said events drive sales and the people that are going to buy your product in your launch, the best are usually the ones that come to the live webinar. So it is a great way to warm up your potential buyers and give them some information and then do your pitch at the end. So there's two groups that I would do webinars for. And I am calling it a webinar, even though with my audience, I call it a masterclass. So one, to grow your business, you need a constant stream of prospects, cold prospects, all right? And one of the best things that you can do to attract those cold prospects is have a lead magnet, which is a webinar. That is one option and you can begin to build a relationship. I did this just last week with Raising Leaders Not Followers. I ran ads for my webinar. I had cold prospects come to that and buy a $200 course. That's pretty cool. I don't know what strategy. You can't just send an email or put out a social for someone to be a cold, to a warm, watch the webinar, and then buy a $200 course. That's That, to me, has just been wonderful. So you can move your cold prospects to warm and happy, hopefully, buyers. Number one. The other group is just current customers. Because if you offer a webinar to them, you especially if you have a higher ticket price, you can start to visualize with them and show them how this higher ticket price can have transformation. And so really the ones on my uh, Start School Right last week, that was my webinar, were both cold and warm people, you know. And let's say you're going to have a retreat somewhere, a VIP weekend retreat. You could actually show videos of past retreats, show pictures. You can just do a lot to get them thinking like, oh, I don't want to miss out on that. That's that FOMO, fear of missing out. And so we want to play on their emotions. And um, a webinar is a great way to do that as well. Chris is one of our, uh, or no, Lena, I think is who I was going to say. Lena, um, we actually had a VIP weekend back in April. 
And Lena was one of the ones that came to it. And she says, I was really hesitant to purchase this training because I've been through lots of other business and marketing training. And I just wasn't sure if I would learn anything new. I am so thankful I decided to come. Carrie's the perfect balance of a fountain of knowledge and also gentle and patient in her explanations and answering questions. She said she just loved the experience that we brought to this. So that is Lena Sutherland of Sibling Relationship Lab. And she was cold that then came and is now a warm uh, buyer because she's invested in that VIP day. So VIP days are a great way to introduce those as uh, with a webinar. Another complaint or excuse is, oh, it's too much time to pull it all together. It is going to take some time, but we can break it down. So let's break down what it takes to offer a webinar to your group. First, you need to choose a related topic that will tie in with the pay with the um, paid offer. So I'll give you my example. I have three webinars and uh, for my raising leaders, my $200 course. In March, I do one, three tips to finish strong this year in homeschooling, all right? It's similar information, but it's a different approach. At the end of May, I do one, four steps to raising Christian leaders in your homeschool. And then the one I just did, usually end of July and August, is start school right in whatever year that is. And so I have three different ones. They all go along with my raising leaders. They approach it a little differently, but they all go along. So you want something. And if you have a signature course, which I highly recommend, I think that's one of the best products that you can sell the information you know to your audience. So I think that's really important. And so you can do something, discuss some information for 35, 40 minutes on your webinar and then you give them, you sell them whatever it is you're selling the course, and then you have some Q and A. So maybe you have your health coach, or you're in the health industry, and you embrace that gluten free lifestyle. So you might give a webinar on how to read food labels and sneaky ways food manufacturers hide additives and harmful preservatives. I had to read that because I couldn't remember it all. And then you can offer your gluten-free lifestyle program, your course that you've created as well. That's a natural tie-in. So if you have, if you need help with a course and trying to come up with those ideas, uh, they'll be in the show notes. I have a free quiz you can take to help you decide what type of course you would want to offer as your paid offer. And then we have a guide four simple, surprisingly simple ways to create a course. And then, as you already know, if you listen to last time's uh, podcast, our next VIP day is all about launching. And then now we've got topic number two, webinars. We will talk about how to launch a product and then how to do a webinar that goes along with that. So first thing is you want to choose a related topic to that paid offer. Then we want to plan our webinar carefully, outlining it, um, don't speak off the cuff. That's just going to get you off. That is just a recipe for disaster. So you want some sort of plan with an outline, maybe even a script. I don't personally like scripts because I don't want to read it. I want it to be more natural, but you definitely need to plan. You also need to look and sound professional, right? If you are going to be on camera, look like you are professional about it. Now, you know, I do some group coaching with people that I've known for a while, and I may not be completely all dressed up with makeup and everything. But when I do a webinar, I want to look presentable. Also think on your PowerPoints, you want to make them look professional. You don't need all these words. Don't fill the whole thing. You need white space because the people are going to be reading and not listening to you. If you need help with that, I recommend Canva. I'll leave a link to Canva in the show notes because they have PowerPoint templates you can use. So be sure there's plenty of white space. Your PowerPoint should just be the bullets. You, and don't read your PowerPoint. I mean, I'll read a phrase, but then I'll start talking about it. But if all you're doing is reading your PowerPoint and going through the slides, they're like, well, just send me the PowerPoint. I can read it myself. And so those are a few tips on looking and sounding professional. 
then you want to use the right tools. Now we've used all different things. I now use Zoom for my webinars. It allows chats. I can record it. I can get a transcript from it as well. I personally invest in Zoom and I don't use the free. You can use the free. You're limited in time, but you need to use a platform that allows you to get a recording and so that's super important as well. So I always want to make sure I have at least an hour time. And let's face it, if you don't invest in your business, why would your audience invest in you? So that's another thing to consider. Go with the flow. Um, typically, webinars, like I said, 45 minutes of content and then 15 minutes for your sales pitch and Q&A. A lot of times my Q&A goes over an hour, but if people are interested they are going to stick around. If you're afraid they're not going to ask any questions, have them submit questions ahead of time. So that's another way that you can be sure that you do that. Um, tech difficulties. There are probably going to be some tech issues. I have, I've gone through a whole webinar and not recorded it. That's not very good. But you may want to have just a little bit of a contingency plan for any tech issues. And then most, most important thing is you need to practice, practice, practice. I don't practice as much because the presentations are ones I've been giving for years, but I definitely, I actually do go through and think through my PowerPoint because I'll, I'll tweak things here and there. Do I, I, if it's a new presentation, I practice it out loud at least two times, not right beforehand because it's not natural, but I always practice it with my notes and then with, um, with the PowerPoint. So I know when to push my buttons and get to the next slide. Again, this is part of our VIP day. We are all about simplify your sales. We're going to start with launches. Then we're going to talk about webinars. And then we're going to talk about funnels, an email funnel and promotion. But webinars are icing on the cake. They are the secret sauce to being making sales, I personally believe. Uh, Kelly is another one of the ones that came to our original VIP day. And she just said, this was the spark. I needed to brainstorm a brand new funnel for an existing product that is not being properly utilized. Um, and it was just the push I needed to actually get some new things going in my business. It was something she already had. And now she needed to pull it all together. And so I would highly recommend that y'all come to our VIP day. They're found at familyebiz.com slash VIP. You will get so much time. We will do a 30-minute training and then 30-minute work session. And we'll do that four times all in one day. Uh, another one of our people, Chris, said she got more done in those few hours than she has on her business in a long time. So come to the VIP day as well. There'll be... Um, Wherever you're listening to this, there should be a link straight to that VIP day as well. I hope you'll join me. It is so much fun and you really will get a lot done and be able to launch a product instead of just throwing it in your store. Hey, I'm Carrie Beck with Family eBiz. We'll talk to you next time.